Smart Schoolboy 9. That's a name that some of you have probably seen floating around a lot on the internet lately, and it's been quite an interesting rabbit hole, one of the darker rabbit holes to go down, and unfortunately at the time of me making this video, a pretty active investigation. Now to give an idea about it, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of dark stuff on the internet, and generally if you ask me, the scariest parts of the internet are usually right there on the clear web in front of you in plain sight. And usually it isn't until one person shares something with the rest of the world where people start to look into it uh, with closer scrutiny. Five months ago on r slash Instagram, a user by the name of NumerousCut792 posted creepy accounts pretending to be kids. Now, I came across a reel randomly, and it led me down this weird rabbit hole of people using AI or dressing up pretending to go to school. They all seem to have high heels in them. Is this a age play thing or something more sinister? So immediately looking into it, one of the accounts that was showcased was Truth Sticks 11, an account with only 17 followers and following 12 individuals. Now, if you look at the actual profile picture over here, it is ghastly. Beautiful boy, an account looked after by me, a degree educated mother choosing to stay anonymous. Good original written work, advice and compassion. Now, if you're wondering why I'm blurring out certain things over here in the actual posts, it's because some of them contain actual children. Yes, that's how dark this rabbit hole is actually going. So more photos got shared around. Another account by the name of Girl Chloe 12. Lisa 13, account monitored by parent. I don't know if this is a way for them to get past some sort of Instagram ban by saying that some 18 year old is monitoring a child's account but I think that children shouldn't even be on social media platforms like Instagram to begin with. But of course, the more posts you get into from this account is posts of actual children with actual descriptive posts saying, enjoying school and being in year eight required a few days of becoming acquainted with the new schedules. It wasn't just on here that things were being posted. There was other actual posts to r slash internet mysteries, which two months ago, this is actually one of the Reddit posts that I've come across, and one of the things where this was kind of on the actual radar for the channel. Now, obviously, if you've seen videos from friends of the channel like Nexpo, Nick Crowley, uh, they've actually dove into this rabbit hole as well. So I'll just recommend them as well, too, because they're pretty good friends. But on this post, I came across a post on our Instagram where somebody messaged or mentioned these creepy Instagram accounts of people who seemingly are pretending to be kids. It reminds me of Pipergate in a way. And I feel like all of these pages are run by the same person because of the horrendous editing style that makes my eyes bleed. So again, going back to, uh, you know, this weird showcase, this almost ghastly editing style was something that permeated across plenty of accounts. So as Truth Sticks 11 started to be investigated more and more and more, they had started sharing posts about the United Kingdom and statistics regarding those who offend in sexual crimes. So they actually add their own little, uh, you know, blurbs to it, their own little commentary where they're like, Rory's right. But also, think of the countless numbers of fake aliases some Preds have. For example, men pretending to be young boys online and so obsessed with them that they become compulsive, delusional, desperate liars. So it's almost like these accounts are calling each other out and being very hypercritical of one another. But it also feels like they're all sort of all following each other because of the same visual editing style. But of course, following down the rabbit hole of truth sticks led people to smart schoolboy nine who describes himself as a primary school achiever, mixed race, and mastering millions of subjects eventually. Once again, account monitored by mum. And none of these channel, none of these accounts at the time were huge. Like we're looking at 35 followers, you know, these small, small accounts, but all seemingly within the same vector of each other. And if you look carefully at Smart Schoolboy 9, you can see that this isn't some schoolboy that's actually going to primary school or anything. This appears to be an adult dressed up and participating in some sort of age fetish role play. When people started to look more and more into the actual account itself, they noticed that the account was actually interacting and following with what appeared to be underage individuals, which is another serious red flag as well. Later, an account known as Stephanie Schooley was discovered also in the same web of these accounts, all denoted by a similar visual editing style that would be applied to the faces of real children. 
What I am blurring over here is actual children who are unfortunately used by whoever's sick and whoever sick in the head, demented individual is running these accounts is unfortunately using actual images of children in order to participate or run whatever creepy ARG or spooky thing that's happening over here. So according to the r slash smart schoolboy 9 reddit a day ago they posted this in the FAQ, which is basically discussing the actual ongoing investigation, and where 20,000 members are now joined to discuss and participate in uncovering this rabbit hole. So one of them, the questions is, has SSB's name been found? So apparently the name is found, but obviously they don't want to talk about it because reddit doesn't allow things like doxing, and neither do most social media platforms. When asked, do we know where SSB lives? And of course, the Reddit claims that they do, but they don't want to post the actual location because Reddit doesn't allow things like doxing. But it's generally believed that whoever is running this account lives in the United Kingdom, specifically around the city of Doncaster. So to go down, what they said is has SSB actually done anything illegal, which is really important to me because obviously when you're, you know, doing or making accounts like this, there is a fine line, especially around minors. Now, what they've said is, yeah, the images he's posted across various accounts have contained images that are considered to be CSAM in the United Kingdom. So they reference something known as the Copen Scale, which is a rating system in the UK that describes severity of actual images involving children. So for instance, on scale one, these are images that you probably have on your phone that are benign, you know, things like, you know, your kids running around and playing in a backyard uh, and whatnot, right? Uh, they might be playing by the pool, you can so on think about it. And 10 is when it gets to really sadistic imagery that obviously is very highly illegal. There's a certain threshold where it goes from benign to complete illegality. And that's one of the serious allegations that have gone against Smart Schoolboy 9. Now, obviously, I haven't seen any of these images, so I'm just parroting kind of what this FAQ says. I can't confirm if there's actually laws being broken. But unfortunately, the reason why we're talking about this is SSB9 is actually posting images that involve real children, which I think personally is bad enough, okay? When you're involving real, actual children into this, and even if they were generated through artificial intelligence, like some people claim or speculate, uh, unfortunately, the training data for those AIs do come from real images. So if there is a child being involved in any capacity, you know, without them knowing that is bad. So obviously when they asked, has SSB been reported to law enforcement? Yes, since the very beginning, there's been an official case number with West Yorkshire Police in regards to the accounts that we just discussed, we talked about, and SSB. So obviously this is really, really good because to be honest with you, uh, if there was no police involvement, this case can go absolutely south. As we've seen with other internet investigators, not taking cases like this seriously. So to go down into the actual investigation further as well, there have been some documents that have been made by the actual Reddit investigation team. And this document in particular wants to present to us, the reader or viewer, the case of Smart Schoolboy 9. This is created for new and current investigators. The investigators were called VGs, coming from the term vigilante. Smart Schoolboy 9 is referred to as SSB, even when you're talking about his other actions. So what they've said is this document contains 18 plus content. So according to the actual documentation, there are several accounts that are owned by Smart Schoolboy 9. Now, because of the massive amount of eyeballs being raised towards this person, there have been accounts that have been deleted. For example, Smart Schoolboy 9 apparently has been deleted, as was that stunning Stephanie in New Girl 12. There are still some accounts that exist that, you know, that people have been investigating. For instance, those involve 12 Stockwell Joanne 12, Lyricist David, Stephanie Schooley, Milo S95, Truth Sticks 11, and Schoolgirl Teresa. So according to the document, it's one of the most disturbing rabbit holes that they've ever found as a Redditor, and that's quite saying a lot. So when we looked at the Smart Schoolboy 9, which was the primary school achiever, mixed race, yada yada, people looked at the guy's account and noticed that this wasn't a schoolboy, this is somebody that is a fully grown man. Now here they actually mention a name, which I'm blurring out, but they do mention that the age approximates to around 52 years of age. So there have been plenty of theories that have been brought up by the actual document, to, by the documentarians over here. And one of them involves things like, while the editing may seem off-putting to a normal person, because it does, the reason SSB9 edits his photos is uh, a certain way is to emphasize features of their fetishes. 
So one of the other ones is he definitely has an Aryan fetish, his profile picture, Truth Sticks 11, and even the way he presents with bright red lips and an obvious pale face, he's trying to appear whiter through many different ways. We already know he has a boot heel fetish and an extension a legs fetish. That's why a lot of posts on all of his accounts feature legs being distorted to a longer or poised in a certain way. So of course, this is an image of smart schoolboy nine, ignoring jealous comments from people, I think they wish they could wear my blah blah blah. Some seem to think that just because I've grown quickly in school year five, they comment as if they know me. And of course, this is the individual right here that people have been like really looking into. A closer image involves this really dark, decrepit image where they got them holding a lunchbox that says boys attached to it. And if you look closer at the face, it's no mask. That's actually like proper face painting that's going on. And that's one of the things people have been doing to like basically uncover this guy is like really identify who this person could be and try to see how much of a footprint they have online as they're actually still actively deleting themselves in the midst of this current investigation. Now, again, the thing about it is, I don't know if they've posted anything illegal perhaps, because here's the logic that I wanna share. This is just my investigation and my history investigating these kind of things, is usually when characters like this post illegal materials, a lot of that illegal material is very fingerprinted, meaning that the actual contents of the images inside those you know pieces, they all have individual fingerprints that have all been cataloged by you know various services like YouTube CSAI or Microsoft's Photo DNA, and a lot of these hashes are shared you know in between many agencies and law enforcement groups around the world. So you've got the NCMEC, you've got the FBI, you've got plenty of these guys sharing these hashes and understanding how to identify really disgusting images on the internet. Now, obviously, hashes can be damaged by copious amounts of editing. So if there are actual illegal images that have been edited, there could be a chance that they have been uploaded on massive platforms like Instagram without being properly flagged automatically. But there's a good chance that if there is illegal material and these accounts have been pretty flagged, that if that was to exist, those accounts would be automatically terminated by the actual service hoster, in this case, Instagram. And those accounts would have then been forwarded to the NCMEC and a serious investigation would have been triggered. Now, obviously, I think that's just my theory to it. But what we do know is obviously looking into a lot of his Facebook accounts, if you watch any of these videos, there are actual videos of real children, okay? And none of these videos appear to be, you know, illegal in nature, but they do involve actual children. And given how weird and fetishistic this individual is, involving any child to be a part of these kind of videos or involved in any of these channels is already disgusting enough to me. And it warrants a serious investigation by A, Facebook, Instagram, or Meta, and also law enforcement as well, which it seems thankfully in this case, there is an active case number. Now, because of the amount of investigations that have gone on and the things that have been constantly being deleted, there is a lot of archival that is happening. For instance, one account on YouTube by Red Wine is making a video called Smart School Boy 9 Archival. 28 minutes of actual content that have been saved from the actual Smart School Boy 9 account, which appears to have since been deleted. Some of the actual posts have been things like this individual posting, being age nine is fun. I have a new hairstyle for school, trimmed quite a bit at the sides. And I think it's cool. And in this video, you can hear me say, okay, school, I love it. Not age nine yet, but I grew so quickly in year four. So you can see like smart schoolboy nine posting and also truth sticks 11 actually liking the post, showing that there's some sort of a connection and corality between these accounts. And you can see this grown man posting things like, hi, I'm saying I love school. You can see the high heels over there. This just guy posting himself. A brief clip of me here at school and I'm saying, hi there, I love school. My schoolwork has been chosen to be part of the display at my school. And that's really cool because visitors to my school, including prospective pupils can look at the display. Now, obviously on the internet, there's been a lot of speculation on this topic and there's been a lot of information shared around some of it and a lot of it, sorry, completely unverified, which obviously when it comes to an investigation that is currently involving police is not something you want. For instance, 18 hours ago on the Smart Schoolboy 9, people have started to ask, was images actually used from illegal materials? And obviously, you know, some of this information was being shared around sites like TikTok, where they were talking about this. Now, I don't know if TikTok is going to be factually on the basis over here and talk about this stuff. But generally speaking, I think most people who, you know, are normal and haven't seen any of these kind of images to begin with, 
can't really make those claims to start off with. And again, like I said earlier, if SSB was sharing actual illegal images, there's a good chance that some of those hashes would survive and would have already been cataloged and auto-scanned by some of these large services out there. Not saying that it can't happen, but clearly the amount of scrutiny he has on him, if there was actual illegal material posted from actual illegal sources, then uh, I think this account would have been shut down a lot quicker and this guy would absolutely be on the morning news, uh, you know, a week ago. Now, people have started to really look into him and there was one post four days ago where people had apparently found an actual post from Usenet, yes, this is the internet of old, back in 1999, where apparently it described SSB going to a local Tesco, which is a uh, convenience store chain in the United Kingdom. So obviously looking into this group, google.com Usenet archive, by Donnie Ladd, which, I, I, all right, October 21st, 1999, posted at 3 a.m., a literal witching hour. Anyone who's been into Northbridge, Doncaster's Tesco on a weekday evening regularly will know what I'm talking about. At first, many months ago, I thought it was just a released into community care weirdo with a severe skin complaint. However, last week, while, work, while whilst working on the town center lighting, I saw it without a charcoal and blusher combination face covering, prime ginger hair, embarrassingly too small, schoolboy uniform, and ridiculously high girls' platform shoes. Again, harkening back to how he dressed and the massive shoe fetish that he had. It was stood outside the Christchurch gents' toilet for hours on end. I saw police twice asking it to move on, and it continued to freak the toilet. A couple of weeks ago, me and the missus were going through and the next check out from this freak. As usual, most of the staff were taking their breaks early to see the show. So again, reading through this actual post right here, they said the guy is about 30 years old and six feet tall with the platform shoes on. And apparently was a very lo locally well-known rent boy, uh, which I believe is a slang for uh, homosexual. The other comical things is that it appears to have very tight rubber bands around its clothes, making it look a bit like a trussed up turkey. Weird. So again, looking into this kind of a post, seeing that, you know, somebody said this is proof. I don't know if you could exactly say any of this is proof. All right. At the end of the day, uh, all right, you need to have a pretty strong, substantial piece of evidence. There's more proof that Instagram accounts that are talking to each other are relatively linked. This is a Usenet post from 1999 that doesn't specifically mention this individual or even showcase a photo. It could, could honestly be anybody. Even if it sounds similar, you still need more to go off of. I think there's only one person in this entire Reddit post that actually literally has some level of critical thinking. How exactly is this even close to proof? What better proof is there? It's a city. Someone, 25 years ago, no reason to lie, made a perfectly accurate description of him and his mannerisms. Again, you still need more to go off of. Now, one other person, David Firth, the uh, of Salad Fingers fame, apparently was asked by an individual, hey, Mr. Firth, I just want to ask a question because I know you're from Doncaster and this info could help an investigation going on. Have you ever heard of this person, SSB, also known by a clown monkey man by name? He dressed up as a schoolboy, painted his face, and would walk around town blowing raspberries. So actually, Salad Fingers had said, yeah, I think I remember him walking around town in the late 90s. I just want to preface also by saying these are just screenshots that I've seen. Uh, I don't know if Salad Fingers has confirmed this to be real, but I'm, I, I just want to mention that for, for the sake of it. I, I have not confirmed these to be real. But when the actual user sent him a photo of this guy, SSB, Salad Finger said, yeah, that looks like him. His makeup's gotten neater. At the time, there was a rumor that the nearby mental hospital closed down and they released everyone onto the streets because he was just one of the many crazy people on the streets of Doncaster. Little did you guys know what he was really up to. You wouldn't happen to know anyone else that would know anything about him. I'm not sure how long you lived there or if you still do. Now, obviously, throughout this entire investigation, there have been people who have looked up who this, where this person's alleged house is. And this is where I'm going to stop right here. So one thing that I've learned looking through this rabbit hole is it is mired in a lot of information, okay? Some of it is good, some of it is unfortunately uh, misinformation or not confirmed. Now, obviously, for me, I think what I've seen is bad enough. Smart Schoolboy 9 or whoever is running this account, whoever this person may be in this network of accounts is unfortunately using images and videos of real children which I think is bad enough involving minors in a project like this, especially when this person is uploading clearly fetishistic content involving age play and whatnot. 
So this is something where I think law enforcement absolutely needs to be involved. And if it's one thing I wanna definitely say before I end a video like this, please do not engage in internet vigilantism. It literally does no one any benefit. The only thing vigilantism ever benefits is the actual person who is allegedly committing serious, serious, serious malfeasance. Because honestly, if you take the law into your own hands, you're only giving these people the out that they ever so crave. And this is one of those things where anytime you come across an account that is run by this person or has a similar style, please report it to the actual platform holder and write a tip about it to your local law enforcement or at least their law enforcement in the United Kingdom. Because the more tabs the cops can keep on these people, the more information they can catalog. So when a case does end up being delivered to this person, it is as ironclad as it possibly can be. And if you are somebody, uh, especially regardless of if you're a child or an adult, do not interact with a person like this. Chances are they can actually cause serious, serious harm. Uh, and that's something that I definitely don't want anybody watching this video or anybody who is investigating a rabbit hole like this to ever get caught in the crossfire of. So be careful on the internet. And honestly, if you are somebody who has a younger person in their life, uh, somebody who is a minor, whether you have your child, your little brother, little sister, whatever, please, please be mindful of who they talk to or interact with on the internet. Make sure to audit whoever follows them because if you find a sicko like this, you gotta make sure that cord is cut right there and then. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar, and this has been the curious tale of one of the most darkest internet Instagram rabbit holes people have found regarding one user known as Smart Schoolboy 9 This case is far from over, and it's one that is still a serious active investigation. So if you spot anything on the internet, please do your best to report it to the authorities and the platform itself, and make sure a person like this ends up being stopped legally. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it, dislike it, I am out.